What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode of my channel. And I actually wanted to drive my fucking car, but I'm late, so I don't get to make the decisions. Yeah. We're on the way to go meet Pedro, so let's fucking get it. Let's go. So guys, we are here in the little boardroom that we have sat in last time. Um, and Jack's just freaking out. He gets all these snacks, he's all excited. He's like, hell yeah. He gets a little coffee. You, you, you amped up, bro? So hey, you so hyped, bro? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, fam, so we're here at the Bedros office, and I've been in coaching calls all morning, so I haven't really done a lot of updates. So here's my update. Um, I just spent the entire morning pouring into my clients, and now I'm gonna get poured into, and I'm gonna receive, I'm gonna be a sponge. And so my intention for today is to absorb, and to be a sponge, and to be all in, and just like get all of my brains out, and all of my thoughts out, and just get everything out, so that I can get as much value as I possibly can from Bedros. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this coaching session. Let's go. Man, this is ticket talking about for the biggest that's a comma and a comma and a comma gotta get it up and comma and a comma and a comma nah i didn't think it was important everything i say is important think we were important bro everything we say is important <laughs> you got it. tell them what you did i forgot to record <laughs> <laughs> What up, big dog? Yay! How's it going, dog? This is Julian, by the way. I love guys like you yeah. because, like, you guys will just turn around and execute. You guys end up extracting the most valuable shit. Meaning, like, what, like, if you had to put a price point on any 10 minute section of, like, that coaching session, because you're the type to turn around and execute and do it, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. that cost, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. people yeah. are like, oh man, like, 100 grand for coaching. Like, yeah, but like you guys are fucking scared. Everybody's fucking yeah, scared, probably, right? Yeah. We already made our investment Wait. back just in the two connections he gave us in fucking training. Dude, and, well, he, and and honestly, like as soon as we paid over 100k, I was like, well, we better fucking step up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, shit, mm -hmm. we just fucking that was a big expense. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. we better rise up and like become better business owners. Like, make sure our expenses are lower. Let's make sure our sales are higher. Like, we actually like we became way better became business better owners. business owners because we're like, I don't want to fucking lose my money. Liar the Wolf to Silva, and we are. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Lie to the camera. I'm 551. Five, 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 liar. Piece of shit liar. 551. Five, 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 <laughs> All right, guys, so um, we want to talk about, for me, I want to talk about my main takeaways from the Beatrice event. The reason we hire mentors is because when you keep approaching life with the same level of consciousness that you're operating at right now, it's going to be impossible for you to grow. And so we hire mentors and we hire leaders because we can't keep looking at problems through the same lens and expecting to find a new solution. So we need to look at our problems from a different lens. And so getting Bedros to look into our business, once we brain dumped our business, we're like, this is all we're doing. And then his brain started picking away at our business model and asking us questions. And it gave me a whole new lens from which to see the world through. And now we're gonna roll to new. What's up? We're just doing a recap. Doing a little takeaways. Cool. Also, like, guys, you pay for fucking mentors to speed up the goddamn process. All right, way too many individuals want to scale their life, want to change the fucking business, want to change what they're currently doing on a daily basis, but they try to do it alone. They have no idea how to fucking get there. They're like, I want to make millions. And then they're like, ooh, I found manifestation. It's the best thing in the world. And they start doing affirmations and manifestation on a daily basis, but they have no fucking idea how to get there. We've done well because we've built a blueprint, we've started to scale, but then we see the next goal, that $10 million goal, that 5,000 client goal, and right now we're plateaued. Transparency. So, yes, we believe in manifestation and affirmations and all that other shit, but then we also believe in hiring a mentor to help us speed up the process and help us with the little shit. We paid Bedros because he's more successful than us. We paid Bedros because we, he knows more than we do. And so we use above intentionally because I want to learn from somebody that has made more progress in their life at the thing that I want to do than I have. Then I can get myself there faster. And so above is used intentionally so that I can strive to reach towards the level that he's at. That's a mentor. I'm tired. <laughs> we just had our uh, coaching session with Bedros yesterday. I slept for eight hours, but my brain is just like melting. So uh, I've got Rise right now, so I'm gonna go do that. And then um, this afternoon, we're gonna meet up with Trent and we're gonna get a workout in. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Let's go. Oh, yeah.
You show up to the gym, you work out, and then the dude that films the workout edits, uh, uploads the clips, and then the dude that gets the clips edits the clips, and then you got somebody else that like posts them if you want, or they just send you the finished product, then you post. It's like it's very simple. Like my physique was average, but then I actually locked in on the discipline, and then I started to see the results. You know, 28, 29, 29. Why did you decide to stay natural the whole time? I want to show like my clients, I want to show people what's possible natural. You know, like so I felt like I would be a fraud to my own avatar and the people that I serve if I were to take gear. Thank you. Like, I mean I know it's facts and it's like 100% truth, but I guess it's like um, what comes like weightlifting that's probably talked about is like, you look on TikTok, you see all these guys, how big they get and how big they are and they, Sometimes you claim natural, so then I guess you're like, damn, you like compare yourself to that person. And then like another big thing is like body dysmorphia. Like, oh, in the gym you have like perfect lighting, pump, this and that. But then when you're like at your house, not doing anything, you know, just eight, you're like bloated. Yeah. And you don't look as good as you do as you in the gym, and you're like, damn, like I look small. Yeah. Those little moments where it's like, damn. I want to look like this, so maybe I should look into this. But yeah, like in the long term, it's like you gotta get your eating right. Hey, when you said let's do legs, I was like, I was like prepared to die. Yeah, I was like, I know Trent's a savage, and I'm not backing down. All right, guys. So I just finished up the workout, Chisel Man. Every anytime I'm in Cali, I try to meet up with him. We were like about an hour away, but we gotta meet up with him, right? So just finished legs. He killed me. Leg day. Let's go. Guys, what is going on? I'm here with my fucking boy, Trizzle Man Fitness, and we're recording a podcast like gangsters in the fucking parking lot. What's up, Trizzle? Are you filming? Yep. All right, guys, so we're at Disneyland because little Jax is just a teensy little tiny little baby, and so we're taking him to go on the ride. Hey, guys, so we are at Disneyland, which I've actually never been to before in my entire adult life. I cannot life, so. believe that. Never, not even in my childhood. We gotta get matching Minnie and Mickey Mouse ears and take a kissy photo by the castle. Yep. Ten out of ten. The weirder the animals in the airline. Did you have fun though? No, it was horrible. <laughs> just joking, it was awesome. <laughs> right to the front of it, which is why it's so important to work on your like your money game and your finance game and your abundance game because like money pays for speed. And so because we have the financial means to afford it, we can pay for speed. And that's something that we earned because we worked our asses off and we invested and we learned how to make more money so that we could have opportunities like this. We don't have to wait. Look at that, look at that line. It's like a, that's like a lesson though. It's like that might trigger some of you, but I'm like dead ass. Like the reason you work on your financial game is so that you can not have to do shit like that. Guys, so Brian's feet, we're gonna get a blister. So me and little Jax went on a mission to go find some sandals. We found some sandals that we think Brian is gonna literally love. I got these cute ass little shoes. And now we're gonna go on a ride, bitches. Nice. I'll probably wear those forever. They're size 12, so they're a little bit big. Just the way I like them. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh my god, thank the Lord. You're still exit when you have a chance. Nah. <laughs> Mama ain't raised no bitch. Mama didn't raise no bitch. You're welcome, best wife of the year. It's like 
7.30. We could stay till 9, but I'm not interested in doing that because I understand that there's like my sister's wedding right after Josie and Taj are coming and I'm gonna drop boundary and take some personal time tonight. Not really a lot of personal time, but watch out. Guys, <laughs> Jack's drank my last energy drink. <laughs> and he ate my last bagel. And he broke Brian's sunglasses, bro. <laughs> Fired, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go check out all the shit that we got from Disneyland, yo. We got the tie dye shit. That's why not. Mickey Mouse up in this bitch haunted mansion one. These things are actually dope. Little Nike hat. Guys, that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys got some value from today's YouTube episode. Hopefully you were able to take something away. I know that we teased you and we only showed you a tiny little smidge, maybe a minute or two of the Bedro stuff, but the truth is we kept that stuff for us because we paid 100K for it. But if you guys continue to follow the channel, continue to support the channel, continue to believe in us, continue to share our content, like we're gonna give you guys more value. We're gonna give you guys everything that we can possibly tell you um, from a level that like you'll, you'll be able to understand. And so the Bedro stuff is kind of like not really even useful to you because we're at a certain level, but we're gonna give you guys everything that you need to take action from the level that you're currently at. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Cole, where do they find you, bro? You guys can find me on the Wake for the Wolf podcast or Cole De Silva on YouTube, Cole Lewis De Silva on IG or TikTok. Let's go. Peace.